Today, we're visiting one of my favorite places in Elite Dangerous. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Elite Dangerous with Down to Earth Astronomy. This is going to be the first video in a new series that I'm going to call Worth a Visit where I'm going to fly around and we're going to find some uh, interesting places or places that have probably already been discovered but that I just like to visit um, and I hope you're going to uh, going to come along because I think at least some of these uh, these places you will find very interesting and maybe you're going to visit some of them yourself. Now this first place we're going to visit here. This is just a small moon in uh, in the system Epsilon Indy. It's right next to Sol, it's pretty close to uh, right in the middle of the bubble. And in this system, there's a small moon called Minrod Hollow. Um, many of you will probably already know um, what this moon is, but for those of you who don't know, this is by far one of my favorite moons to uh, to land on. You can come here without horizon, of course, but I highly recommend that you come um, come here because you have the moon targeted, and we're gonna move uh, move in close. You'll begin to see something interesting happening happening as we get uh, as we get closer here to the moon. Uh, begins to come up here you might be able to begin to see it still looks like a a small moon that uh, that you would expect to find around a a planet it is very close to the planet though if you notice but as we come in closer you'll begin to note that this moon is actually moving quite fast and this is i think one of the fastest moving objects it's actually running around the back side of the planet here and even when I go full throttle here, I will not. I'll have a hard time trying to keep up with this. I'll try to go into a higher orbit to increase my speed. So I'm chasing this moon around. I am catching up to it right now. And the reason why I find this so interesting is you can actually, you, by flying to this moon, you'll get some, um, some good insight into the mechanics of the game. So if we notice the planet here, we're still trying to catch up. I'm getting in behind the moon. We're still trying to catch up. But, oh, I think it's going to begin to. Yeah, now it's beginning to run away from us. You are not going to catch this moon. Um, if you're trying to to, uh, to catch it like this. So what you have to do instead, if you want to land on it, is to go into a higher orbit and not be interdicted. Ah, so now that that is taken care of, we can go ahead. Where were we? So we we're trying to, f to see if we can catch this moon. We can see some interesting effect from uh, about the game mechanics of the game. Now, first we're going to slow us down. We're going to see where the moon is right now. Um, because we need to fly in the opposite direction and we need to just aim straight for it. See, there it is, coming around the planet. Gonna aim for the moon. Aim for the moon, keep aiming. Aim ahead of it so you, you're not gonna overshoot. I might actually overshoot on this one. Or maybe I'm good. 10 clicks out. And pretty soon you'll see I get into the moon's sphere of influence. Like, there you go. And my ship locks on to uh, to the moon and I'm being shifted into that to the moon's, moon's frame of reference instead of the planet. So see here now I'm actually orbiting the planet together with the moon. So let's uh, let's take a quick orbit around it and let's uh, land preferably on the on the day side, um, so we can see that nice uh, um, nice sunset on a, a planet set. <laughs> um, so here we are on the surface, and because this moon is actually not rotating from without being able to see the planet, that actually looks like a pretty normal moon. Um, but as soon as you see that planet come up over the horizon, you know that something is up. And just look at that. I mean, this is not a time lapse. This is recorded in real time. You can see it on the effect underneath the anaconda. Um, this is just, I mean, this is why I just love this place so much. But anyway. I'm just going to put on some music and uh, you guys can enjoy the montage.